Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make an After Effects style circle pop and an offset circle pop in Blender. So uh, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to delete the default cube by typing X and clicking delete. And uh, now you want to press numpad 7 on your keyboard and type control L and also numpad 0. So now we're going to uh, get rid of the grid lines below here. So we're going to type in, scroll through here until we see the display section, and click the display section and uh, turn off the grid floor. I'm going to turn off the X and Y lines. Or we'll leave them on until later in the tutorial. Alright, so now you want to uh, you want to add the object that's going to be your spark. So shift A and uh, we're going to click text. We're going to type tab and erase all of our text and we're going to type a dash on our keyboard. We're going to press tab. Scroll up to zoom in and you can see we've got our little dash here. So let's open a font on our computer and we'll include a download link for this in the description. So you want to download that font and then you want to open it up through Blender. So go into the right of the screen here and click this folder here. And um, we're going to have to scoop through our documents here to look for our Blender text folder. Alright, so let's Blender text. Gonna add a bookmark there. And uh, let's see, looking for the web fonts folder. Uh, now the font we're going to use is called Varela Round. So it's a really good font if you want to have like rounded text or even rounded dumb um, objects. So let's go to Twins, Documents, and Render Text. And uh, let's just uh, wait for this to load up. taking its time. Here we go. Now, uh, text and bookmark this one. And this is the website's folder we want. So, plus the bookmark that. Okay. So, um, Barilla Brown. Right here. And select that. Okay. So, now that we have our Barilla Brown font here, we want to do shift Control and Alt and then C and put the origin to the center of mass. So that just put the um the origin to the center of our object. So type Alt G to put our object to the center of the screen and let's size our object a bit. So S and move your cursor out and left click to confirm that. Let's go into the material section here. Click new to add a new material. Make it a shadeless material make it a very bright white or any other color you prefer so we'll just leave it at a white color so uh, and we can go into material view so let's give our um, our scene a background and then get to animating that uh, that object there so shift a mesh and then plane new material and make it a shadeless material and uh, make it a darker material than our object and we'll make it a dark purple or a dark blue we'll go with purple and GZ and move it down behind that um, our object left click to confirm that and let's size this up until it's way past the camera S and move your cursor and left click All right. So now, at this point, we can turn off our X and Y um, lines there. Alright, so 
Now let's get to animating this spark you see here. So let's shift D and move this off the screen so that we just have an extra one over there. Left click to confirm this and we're going to convert this to a curve object. Type Alt C on your keyboard and once this dialog pops up, click curve for mesh text and now we'll go into the curve object data tab and what we will do now is scroll down and look for the shape keys so the shape keys is basically what we're going to use to animate this so let's drag this box up somewhere here and let's click plus to add a basis shape key which is the basic shape for our object plus again to add a first key and again to add the second key so basically we're going to make our circle we're going to make our um, element not show up and then come out and show up and then disappear right at the edge of the screen here so to do that we're going to use shape keys so for key one and you want to left click on that to make sure you have key one selected um, we can change this to AB sync just in case if you want to add music to this later you want to make sure it syncs properly and to smooth to make sure our animation is nice and smooth we're gonna make it a 60 frames per second scene alright now let's go back to the shape keys so for key one is this is gonna be the key where we have our object basically not show up and then you know the value of the key will go down once we make the key and then it should go back to the basis shape so let's show you guys how this works go to tab into edit mode A to select all of this and let's put the cursor here and left click and drag that back there and let's go up to zoom in middle mouse button to pan around let's see let's put the cursor right here okay and change the pivot point to the 3D cursor so that we can size our object around that. S X zero. Enter. And let's press tab. So we basically made our disappear value there and if we put it up then we get the disappear. And if we put it down it goes back to being the basis shape. Alright so we can animate that after make our second key where it goes in and disappears so let's click on this shape key left click this here and tab and move that there and SX0 enter and press tab so our second key just have our object going in there so uh, let's do frame 0 to 35 we shall make the key value let's see 1 on frame 0 I recurse over that and type I and on frame 35 we shall make let's jump back to 25 and make the value 0 so I recurse over that and type I now let's jump back 5 or 10 frames before go to the second key I recurse over that and type I jump to a later frame and we'll choose frame 35 and put the value up to 1 I recurse over that and type I so if you rewind and play this you kinda get that going in there so it looks pretty good we can use the dope sheet to edit our animation a little bit more but uh, for now we've got a pretty nice um, got a pretty nice element that goes in there. So let's shift D to duplicate this one. Left click to move it over there. And uh, let's size our object down on the Y axis. So S, Y, and move your cursor in and left click. So it looks a little bit more like a popsicle stick, right? When it's animating and that looks nice. All right, so uh, one thing, we might have made it go a little bit too far to the left here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the key one value to we're gonna type tab. We're just going to pull that out there and release that and press tab. And now, 
All right, that looks pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll put this cursor back to the center. So shift that cursor to center. And we'll make sure we can't select our background accidentally by uh, left clicking this cursor out there. And uh, we're going to move this out. See where it is there. Just pass the cursor here. And now you have Okay, this bit there, and you have it coming out the screen. Now it looks like key two went a little bit far off to the edge too, so we're going to left click on that and type tab and move it just back into the screen. Lease and tab, and that looks pretty good so far. Probably edit that some more later. So. Um, let's size it down a bit, so S and left click, and alright, so now we want to rotate this all around our object, so let's type uh, shift, um, shift D, R, Y, 45, R, Z, 45, enter, shift D, R, Z, 45, we're just going to keep duplicating and rotating it, shift D, RZ45, until we get all around here. And RZ45. And now we have a circle pop, or a circle burst, or whatever we'll name this effect in the title. So. Uh, one thing, these are all separate objects, and you, if you just want to move your circle pop around without having to select them all at once, what we'll do is we'll type B, and we'll box select them all, and we'll group them by typing Control G, and then we'll add a parent that will basically just control um, the sizing and everything and the position of the object. So, Shift A, Empty, and Plane Axis, and right click on one of these and type Shift G, and click Group. And that'll just reselect the group. Hold down Shift, right click on the empty, and type Control P and click Object Keep Transform. And if you right click on that and move it around, that is uh, that's basically controlling your object position. So basically, you can uh, turn off the view of the empty and uh, where is this plate? Uncheck relationship lines so that you don't see those. And basically, all we'll have is the circle. First, if we open GL render the image, so that looks pretty good. So let's go back to 3D view, and you can change the open GL render options to full sample, 16 on the anti-aliasing, and then you can open GL render the image again and have a bit more of a smoother popsicle stick circle burst, whatever we'll call this. So let's go back into 3D view. And uh, one thing, to make this an offset circle burst, um, can turn back the view of the empty on. And we'll make sure we add this to our group. And we can rename the group here. We'll call it, still don't know what to call it. We'll just call it um, Blender Anim for animation. and holding down shift and using the middle mouse button to pan around. Now, to make this an offset circle burst, you'll want to install a Blender add-on called Commotion. Now, we'll include the download link for that in the description. Basically, you'll want to download it using that link. Go to the user preferences and add-ons. Wait for this to load. And you can see Commotion when you type Commotion. To install it, you want to click Install from File, and then you want to just double click on the downloaded file that you've got, and uh, that should install it. And then you should search it and check it here, and you should have that installed. So if you already have it installed, you can go back to 3D View and uh, basically click this here. And type Shift G Group. 
it's this looked empty and I'm going to offset by name and then uh, change the frame offset to 5 and click offset animation so now let's see let's um let's see. here we go you want to use the list. all right now you want to copy those and change the offset to 5 up here and then click offset animation and then you have the offset. So uh, you can copy this, change it to name, and leave the offset at 5. And uh, probably put it down to 3. Click offset animation. And you can see we have that offset circle burst there. And that looks pretty good. So uh, one thing we can do is we can recopy all these animations so we get our regular circle burst and it looks pretty good so now that we've got all of our settings done and we've made our circle burst we're pretty much finished making this uh, tutorial so if you're interested in more tutorials from us you can subscribe to our channel and to make sure you have your notifications turned on and uh, if you're interested in directly supporting our channel, please check the links in the description. We're in need of a new computer and we really appreciate it. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Crime.